now uh, here as we watch that, though, is Executive Director of the Chicago Chapter of the Council on American Islamic Relations. Ahmed Rahab is with me. Ahmed, thanks for joining me here. Good to be on. Thank you. Now, you, and, and I know one of the key reasons, of course, for you to be here and for your message today, um, people here, these guys are, are, are Muslim, and so, therefore, uh, you know, people start making conclusions about that. You had a press conference today at 1 o'clock. You have a message you want to get out. Well, the first message is we've been just as hurt and just as horrified by this, this heinous act of terrorism as anybody else. And if you were to look at the Muslim Facebook pages or Twitter accounts, and you'll see all these condemnations and these, this sense of loss and sense of sympathy for the victims, and that remains our focus. Secondary to that, we are concerned about those who fail to understand that culpability should be at the individual level and the extend guilt to the entire community when the culprit is a Muslim. That tends to be a unique situation that we Muslims face today in post-9-11 America. We need to move beyond that. So our call to our mosques and to our community members is, first of all, stay safe safe, stay vigilant, and uh, our message to the general community is let's focus on the issue. The issue are these individuals and their group that assisted them, if there is such a group. It's not the Muslim community, it's not even the Chechen community who reject this act of terrorism. And, and indeed, and our viewers are taking a look at a live shot. Now you are watching action unfolding near Franklin Street uh, in the Watertown area where the suspect uh, reportedly is pinned down there. Gunshots have been heard, CNN reporting that. Um, uh, Ahmed, you know, the, the, um, uh, these guys are Chechenian. And, uh, and, and so, you know, once again, the people start to look, where are you from? And then things have to build. And now that's a big problem. There's a woman in Boston, it was in the paper, uh, Heba, uh, if I'm saying her right now, uh, Abedaban, uh, who said, you know, that, you know, somebody attacked her saying Muslims perpetrated all of this. I mean, once again, it's just, it, it's almost out of ignorance. Unfortunately, this woman, she was attacked, uh, F you Arabs, uh, you were part of the Boston terrorists, et cetera, et cetera, and she was punched. There was a physical violent attack. There was another violent attack also in New York, and we're hearing these reports. There was a case of harassment right here on the Brown Line in Chicago. Yeah. And again, these are just individuals lashing out at anybody that they deem to be a Muslim as somehow an extension of these criminals, these individual criminals. Um, you know who else was Chechnyan? The uncle the uncle of his, these two kids, who came out with a very passionate and very strong condemnation of his own nephews. You don't have to go far from the family, even, to understand that Muslims condemn this type of act. Although, I, I agree with you, and, and in fact, one of the things the uncle said this morning was uh, they're losers. He didn't say these, his nephews were losers. He said whoever would do this are losers. We did hear statements from the father who believes they're being set up, the mother who can't, but I imagine immediate relatives of course are going to have a hard time believing their children could ever do something like this and I don't care what your religious background Correct. is. And, and the uncle in fairness did condemn them by name and he actually called upon the one who's still on the loose to turn himself in and ask for forgiveness and he said that you have shamed our family, you have shamed our community, you have shamed our religion and that they never lived in Chechnya and they don't represent the Chechen people. It's also interesting here, these guys really were, were really living the American way of life. I mean we've seen prom pictures and and uh, one of them the older one was a boxer I mean they were enjoying the American way of life um, so really in many ways there may be religious values but there's also cultural values that we seem to all share well true but you know also the individuals who are responsible for the mass shootings in Colorado or elsewhere in the country of recent they also seem to be enjoying the American way of life there's something about these individuals that caused them to flip and engage in this insane action of violence mass violence against citizens that isn't particular to their faith or to their color, but rather to their lives, to their own experiences, something about them. It isn't about their faith or their larger community. We ought to look at the particularities and not the generalities, and that's how we understand what the peculiar peculiarities are. Well, so you had a press conference today, but you certainly have uh, our audience now that are, are viewing in. What message, just about 20 seconds, what message do you want to tell them so that they understand what they should be feeling right now? Islam condemns terrorism. Uh, terrorism is an act that is a violence against civilians, innocent civilians, that is absolutely unforgivable our faith. If you kill one human being, it, it is as if you've killed the entire humanity. That is what we are taught in our Islamic faith. All right. I want to thank you so much, Ahmad Rahab, for being with me. Uh, we're, we're getting that message out, helping you do that. We're keeping the live picture up.